How's it going everyone? My name is Lewis from Road to Something New. We're here at the National Automobile Museum here in Reno, Nevada. This place is full of 200 interesting old vehicles. Here's the Model T. Welcome back travelers to another video. We're here in the biggest little city in the world to share with you our visit to the National Automobile Museum. This local tourist hotspot is home to a collection of over 200 cars from over the past century. Our trip started from our hometown and up Highway 395 towards our goal, which was the city of Reno, Nevada. When we finally arrived in Reno, we decided to check out this cool looking museum full of history. Containing a total of four galleries, each separate gallery hosts makes and models throughout the history of the automobile. Most of the vehicles here belong to William F. Hara, who owned 1,450 cars in his time. At the time, his collection was the largest historic automobile collection in the world. When he passed away in 1978, the company Holiday Inn, that took over his hotel casino brand, wanted to sell the entire collection. Luckily, a nonprofit at the time was created to save as much of the collection as possible. Holiday Inn decided to donate 175 vehicles to the nonprofit and sold the rest through private auctions. 65 private owners donated their cars to the organization as well. In 1989, the National Automobile Museum was born. Each exhibit contains information on the make, model, and year of each of the vehicles, including the price of the car at the time and whether it was owned by Hera himself or privately donated. Outfits worn from the time are neatly on display all around the museum. My initial thoughts walking around Gallery 1 was just how large some of these vehicles were. The tires on the wheels were thin and tall. It was a wonder how they were able to move around the dirt-filled roadways. Inside this part of the museum is called gallery number one, which I find cars to be made from anywhere from 1900 to, I've seen the oldest car in this gallery, um, 1920. But these are all old vehicles and I know it's hard to see in this video, but they're all uh, pristine condition, looking look almost brand new. So cool. This 
part right here. Look at the price. If I could zoom in. Four hundred dollars. Insane. Insane. Just finishing up gallery two and uh, in this gallery we found cars from anywhere from 1913 and the latest car here is about 1934 these cars are a lot more recognizable uh, seen in a lot of movies that you know old school movies that I've seen before in my life super cool
now we're just finishing up uh, garage number three. Uh, in this uh, section, I found cars from 1934 until 1953. Cars that are a lot more recognizable than things I've seen in movies and sometimes even on the streets. Left with one more garage to go. I like it a lot. They're really interesting. And I'm really glad we came here. It's The money is worth it. It's not expensive and you get to enjoy uh, and see the old styles. It's really nice. We want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to support the channel and be first to see our latest adventures. Let us know in the comments down below on what you think about the National Automobile Museum. Also tell us about your experiences here for those who have visited. We would love to hear all your responses. Head over to our website for more information about all the interesting places we visit.